All right, gang, welcome to Handsome Speed Shop. Today we're going to be doing a custom Matchbox build. We're going to be doing one of these 1933 Plymouths from Matchbox. This is a super cool casting. Um, I've been wanting to do one of these for a while. I have a couple of them. I just wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do with it. Um, kind of have a couple options you could do with one of these. Uh, but I decided for my first custom build on one of these, we're going to be doing it as kind of a 60s style gasser. Um, which, as you know from watching Hanson Speed Shop, we do a lot of cool gassers. I think that will be something different for one of these. It should be kind of a challenge. Uh, it's kind of an oddball car. It's a four-door car. It's full fendered, bumpers. It's got a spare tire. Um, so there's definitely going to have to be a lot of stuff that's got to go to make this thing a cool 60-style gasser. Uh, I'm planning on leaving the fenders on the car, but we're going to be getting rid of the bumpers. I'm going to try to get rid of the spare tire. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible yet or not. Uh, by leaving the fenders, we aren't going to be able to run a super big tire in the back. We're gonna, we just don't have a lot of real estate to work with um, because these fenders are scaled to this size wheel. Um, but we'll give it a gasser stance anyway. I've got a cool name plan for this thing. Um, we either are going to get rid of the entire hood or just the hood sides. And we're going to stick a cool motor in this thing. Uh, but either way, this thing should be super cool by the time we're done with it. Uh, but before we can do anything, we've got to get the thing torn apart, see what we have to work with. And then we can kind of adjust our game plan from there and build this thing into the cool 60s gasser that I have in my head. So that's going to be the next step, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, so here's our 33 Plymouth, now that we got it all torn apart and stripped. As you remember from the beginning of the video, I talked about we're going to be doing this thing as kind of a radical 60s style gasser. I thought of a cool name for this car the other day at work. We're going to be calling this thing the Midnight Stalker. It's just kind of an old, creepy, weird-looking car, and I think that's a perfect name for it. Um, I used to have a stripper at work, which they got rid of, um, so I had to use uh, something else on this build. I've seen a lot of you guys use the citrus, citrus, citrus strip. Uh, it's the first time I've used it. It works okay, I guess. Um, it's about as good as I can get right now that's not super toxic or messy. A little bit of cleanup's going to be needed yet on the body. Um, I haven't decided yet. We're either going to be getting rid of the hood sides or the whole hood because uh, I want to put a cool motor in this thing and then we'll have to get rid of this post. Otherwise, that's probably going to be about it for um, body modifying on, on that part. We are going to be leaving the fenders. Um, I probably am going to get rid of these headlights, so we'll shave them off, and then that'll have to get filled. Um, we're going to leave the spare tire just because otherwise we'd have to come up with something to fill this back piece in, and that would be a, kind of a pain in the butt, so we're just going to leave that. Um, on the chassis, I'm definitely going to get rid of the front bumper, and then we'll have to cut this and reshape it just to make it look nicer and just kind of like some stock front frame rails. Um, I haven't decided yet. We may keep the back bumper or I may get rid of it. Um, I haven't decided on that yet. Also, I have not decided on the wheels that I'm going to go with yet because we can't go too big in the back or we'll run into some clearance issues with the fenders. So I'm going to just pick out some wheels that I have that look cool and uh, kind of do some test fitting. And then uh, we'll get the front up a little bit, give it that kind of cool gasser stance. So we should have a pretty cool kind of unique gasser by the end of this video. So the next step is just going to be starting to clean the thing up and do some cutting. And then uh, we'll go from there. All right, gang. So here it is, our 33 Plymouth that we're doing up as kind of a super cool radical 60s gasser that we're calling the midnight stalker um we made a little bit of progress on this thing um what we did is i cut the hood sides off of the car and then there is a um, kind of an interior piece um that fills in that center part we had to cut that out also um and that's going to look really cool once we get our engine fitted in there um 
like I talked about, we're either going to be running uh, the engine out of probably the uh, Nova Wagon Gasser or possibly a 55 Chevy Gasser. Uh, one of those two will give its engine up for this car. Um, I had these cool wheels sitting around uh, for quite a while. Um, there's some old Hot Wheels Rear Rider wheels, and they, they have a really cool kind of 60s gasser look to them. Um, and I just kind of have them mocked up on there for now. Uh, but I think those are what we're going to be going with. I, they really look cool on this car. Um, so that's kind of the stance the car will have too. Um, and uh, this thing's just coming along super cool. Um, the next step is basically going to be to get the the wheels um, actually mounted permanently because we're going to have to make a custom front axle and custom back axle. And then I'll uh, get an engine stabbed in here. And then uh, we can kind of take another look at it. And then uh, it shouldn't take too much more work after that. Uh, basically just painting and detailing. So uh, we'll kind of take another look at it once we make some more progress. All right, guys, so this is going to be the last time we look at the car before it goes off to paint, but we've made a lot of progress on it, and it's coming out really sweet. As you can see, I got the axles done and the wheels are on, so the car is rolling really good. Um, we got an engine in the car, finally. Um, this engine was actually sourced out of a Hot Wheels casting called Turboa, and uh, it basically looks like this. It's like a snake type car that came out in like the 80s or 90s. Uh, but the engine that's in that car is really cool. Um, once you get it out of the car, it clearly is like a Buick nail head engine. And you can tell that because of the angle of the uh, valve covers. And it's got like a Hillborn fuel injection setup on it. And then I modified the headers that were on it along with some old uh, parts that I had left over from another car. Made some really cool headers for this car. Uh, so that worked out really good. Um, everything's basically done. All the modifications are done from cutting the hood sides off to the bumpers off. Uh, to reshaping the front of the car. Um, getting the axles on, getting the stance right. This thing just really is coming out cool. As you can see, it's got that perfect old school gasser stance. Just a really neat car, 33 Plymouth with a uh, injected nail head in it. I don't think that could get any more uh, different or cool um, for like a 60s style gasser. So the next step is going to be to get this thing painted. Um, I just got to finish prepping everything and then this thing can get off the paint. And then we'll take another look at it at the final unveil. It's late at night, you're all alone in an abandoned drag strip. All of a sudden, you hear the roar of an injected nail head coming up behind you. There's nowhere to run, there's nowhere to hide. It's the Midnight Stalker. Alright guys, it's time for the final unveil on our Matchbox 33 Plymouth four-door sedan that really just came out unbelievably awesome i really don't think this thing could be any cooler the whole idea with this project was to take kind of an oddball car and just turn it into one of the coolest oddball gassers ever built and i really think i nailed it on this one uh super happy with it and we're going to be talking about everything that I did to turn it into the Midnight Stalker right now. So we started off with the Matchbox 33 Plymouth. Um, and we've come a long way from the stock car that we started with. Uh, we cut out the, the whole um, engine bay and the sides of the hood. Um, we sourced that cool uh, Hillborn injected nail head out of a Hot Wheels um, Turboa casting. And then... Um, modified the exhaust that was on there with uh, uh some other exhaust pieces that i had kind of made some really neat headers um and then detailed out the engine block and it 
uh, gloss red and then detailed everything else out just basically chrome. Uh, we gave this thing a super nice gloss black paint job and then I did the uh, Midnight Stalker logo on the side of the car in white and lime green. Um, it's got some really neat uh, Hot Wheels uh, Rear Rider wheels on it which was sourced off of an old uh, black box Hot Wheels uh, 56 Chevy. Um, super cool drag slicks out back with some uh, nice little skinny wheels up front. Really has that cool kind of 60s gasser look. We gave the front a nice straight axle. Um, then taking a look at the front of the car, we ditched uh, the front bumper and then I kind of reshaped the whole front of the car to match um, this kind of cool like bat wing shape on the front of the the in front of the grill and in between the fenders um we added a little uh moon tank up front that was sourced off of a hot wheels pass and gasser then i did the grill out chrome and uh the headlight lenses in a red to give this car that creepy look um detailed the door handles uh this thing has that perfect uh really cool gasser stance to it um in the interior, I left the interior just a stock uh, satin black color. I added a little uh, old school style uh, roll bar behind the front seat, which turned out really nice. Um, taking a look at the back of the car, we got rid of um, the back bumper. We left the, the spare tire, um, detailed out the little um, one, the uh, rear tail light, which is just on one side. Um, Taking a look underneath the car, I left the whole frame on this thing chrome because I really think that looks cool here um, to have a chrome frame. Um, but then I did the floor um, pans out in a gloss black. Everything else was just left chrome. And then here is a look at the driver's side of the car. So if you guys really dig this car, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you think of the Midnight Stalker. I'm super happy with this. Happy to have it in my uh, 164 scale gasser collection. Uh, just really all around couldn't be happier with the way this thing turned out. Um, super, super cool car. So stick around for some more pictures of the car. Otherwise, until next time, get out, work on your own projects, get your hands dirty, stay cool, and we'll catch you cats on the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs>